Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Small Steps Academy, and this is our last class of our unemployment series, which have been going on. Okay, finally we have come to the last class. It was a long, long topic. So at last we will talk about some World World Youth Skill Day. Okay, since we have been talking about skill and and youth uh, from all over the lesson, so let's see what is this also. so young people are almost three times more likely to be unemployed than the adults and continuously exposed to the lower quality of jobs in addition women are more likely to be underemployed and underpaid and to undertake part time jobs or work under temporary contract so 15 july is your world youth day So in December 2014 the United Nations General Assembly adopted a resolution declaring 15 July as the World Youth Skill Day. The goal is to achieve better socio-economic conditions for today's youth as uh, as a mean of addressing the challenges of unemployment and underemployment. So now if I want to conclude everything which I said in this lesson and now we are in the position uh because we know all the schemes and whatever the government has done so you know that creating enough job to meet the need of expanding workforce is perhaps the biggest challenge of the present government and the policy maker okay and now i will talk about sector wise okay let's talk about agriculture first so the number of jobs in the agriculture will only decline which itself is a desirable to uh, think also to check the disguised unemployment and crowding of agriculture however there is a huge scope of creation of job in the allied agriculture activities like horticulture animal husbandry etc these allied economic activities in agriculture are in urgent need of policy support by both state and central government if they are to flourish and uh, if they are to flourish and employment in this activity is to be increased okay now let's see about the manufacturing sector so the largest increase in uh, employment throughout the decade of 2000s has continued to take place in construction since we uh, as i have already told you so the government should take concrete step in investing or attracting investment in the manufacturing sector like power mining and other basic industries this sector will also push growth and job creation in other allied sector which are related to that sector okay the hope of new proposed make in india mission is that not only will uh, manufacturing become an engine engine of growth during the 12th plan but it will also provide at least 100 million additional decent job and some special emphasis needs to be put on the priority sectors such as textile and garments leather and footwear gems and jewelry food processing unit handicrafts and handlooms okay these are labor uh, intensive sectors which will generate more employment per unit investment than any other sector and last sector is our service sector okay so investing in health and education service is not only important from a growth perspective but also from the employment perspective they are the most labor intensive among all the services sub sector requiring almost 9 people to produce rupees 1 million worth of real output compared uh, compared with just one or two people in the final real estate and business services the government should take these uh, these sector as a priority sector to ensure job creation as well as to improve the human development parameter of the country and by this our employment chapter is finally finished the series of employment which was going on it is finally finished now and in the next class we will do something new so stay tuned guys and keep watching small steps academy okay guys bye